Hey, you want chaps and chap, it's Game Chap and Bert here. Yes. Yes, but it was on OTC. We are now discussing the exciting upcoming Assassin's Creed Unity. Goodness me, what an exciting game, old chap. It most certainly is, old chap. Yes, following on from the very popular Black Flag of last year. Oh, yes, stonking game, I must say. Most certainly. Now, apparently, this comes out on the 28th of October this year. I see. It's the seventh in the series, linked to Assassin's Creed Rogue, I believe. Ah, I see. Now, of course, as Bertie says, released on the 28th of October this year, the game is set in Paris in the French Revolution, and the main character this time will be a fellow known as Arnaud Dorian. And apparently he's trying to expose the real problems behind the revolution, powers or whatever it may be. I wonder who it could be, old chap. Ah, oh, well, yes. Well, apparently he's going to be sporting a brand new weapon known as the Phantom Blade. This is like a crossbow mounted on his wrist, which fires darts of some sort and works in a similar way to the hidden blade, old chap. Yes, apparently it can fire very, very long distances and looks like a mini crossbow attached to the wrist. Ah. So we don't know whether it's replacing the old blade or whether it's going to be as well as. Well, I think it could be both, old boy, and of course perhaps replaces some of the gun mechanics we've seen in the old games uh, featuring antique-style firearms, etc. and so forth. Now, apparently, they've also overhauled the parkour mechanics. Of course, some Assassin's Creed games in the past have had a bit of a, shall we say, Apache control system. You could run into walls a lot, etc. and so forth, but they've changed that, apparently, and also given him a new set of parkour to boot. Most certainly, apparently going to be the scale walls come up and down a lot easier, which makes for rather more fun gameplay, I think. It does, old boy. Now, also there's going to be some form of co-op multiplayer, where you can enter taverns where other players are, and you can decide whether you'd like to join their game or not. I see, old boy. So, like, in-game social hubs, indeed. Apparently, other players might show up as ghosts in your game world, and you can join their game at their most recent checkpoint, playing as Arno Dorian. And apparently, there's a whole slew of missions for co-op play. Most certainly, there's supposed to be lots and lots of them, so that's a rather Rather interesting feature. Now they're saying this is going to be the best one ever, and looking at some of the graphics, they do look rather good. Well, indeed, it certainly seems fans of the Assassin's Creed series are in for a bit of a treat here. To be honest, I think they're going to have to go a long way to beat the good old swashbuckling ship saving mechanics of number four, but indeed, they have been known to bring some surprises out of the bag in the past, and I think they could well pull it off this time. Yes, we'll have to wait and see, but it looks a rather good game. Yes, indeed. Well, I doubt so if you'll be able to beat Fedeo's Requies Cat in Peche from the 28th of October this year, Fedeo's. I dare say we are looking forward to it, you know. We certainly are. Yes, indeed. Do join us again for exciting news, I say. We look forward to seeing you then. Until then!